Hello, my name is Peter Stilwell from the United States, and I was wondering if John Mather would be so kind as to help me understand whether neutrinos have mass and different energy states and whether that changes. Uh, so I'm not really sure how much uh, uh, subatomic particle physics are uh, in his field, but uh, if you can answer that, um, I'd be grateful. Thank you. So Peter Stilwell is asking the question about do neutrinos have mass? When neutrinos were first discovered, uh, they were discovered because they carried away uh, energy and momentum from nuclear reactions, and we couldn't explain them unless we could imagine that these particles would exist. Everything we could tell at the time was that neutrinos had no mass. They traveled at the speed of light, or very nearly. Uh, but then, uh, in recent times, we've seen evidence that they do have mass. It's only very small. So the way that we found out was, number one, uh, we know that the sun makes neutrinos, and we were not getting the right number of neutrinos here on Earth in our detectors. So we had to imagine that the neutrinos were turning into something else on the way. So um, the, uh, as it seems to be true. The neutrinos that are manufactured in the sun by nuclear reactions are turning into a different kind of neutrino before they get here. And so that's why we couldn't see them all. Uh, similar things now have been observed with neutrinos that we ma manufacture in uh, nuclear reactors. And so it seems to be true. Uh, neutrinos uh, do have mass. It's very small, uh, uh, but it can be measured uh, a little bit. And this is a very difficult measurement, it's, but uh, we're pretty sure neutrinos have mass.